Have you ever wondered what it's like to live without a home? If you're watching this video comfortably, probably not. You're probably part of the population who have most of the needs met. Whether it's a mansion or a small house, at least you have a roof over your head. Not everyone has that privilege. It shouldn't even be a privilege in the first place. Everyone deserves a house. Hello everyone, welcome to World IQ. Today, we will be examining the homeless crisis and go over the list of the top 10 states in America with the highest homeless population in 2023. Let's get it. Number one, California. This state needs no introduction. There are a lot of things this California is famous for. You have Hollywood, Silicon Valley, beaches, and lots of different landmarks. However, despite the success the state enjoys, did you know that California has the highest homeless population in the United States, with over 160,000 people living there without a house to go home to? According to a survey by UC San Francisco, the number one reason why Californians end up being homeless is losing income. A vast majority of them say that even with just a $300 subsidy a month will keep them off the streets. Since 2020, California's overall homeless population has increased by about 6% compared to just 0.4% in the rest of America. Number 2. New York a world-renowned city is known for a lot of things, both good and bad. But today, we will be focusing on the bad, obviously. Even with the huge income that New York contributes to the economy of the US, you'd think that people here are better off. But that'll depend on what you're looking at. The city estimates nearly one in every 120 New Yorkers is homeless. Around 70,000 people and 3,400 people live in unsheltered subways. It might look like good news to you that the city has implemented several programs that aim to address the growing problem of homelessness, like supportive housing units and the implementation of rent subsidies. According to the Coalition for the Homeless, the primary cause would be a lack of affordable housing. I mean, it makes sense, knowing how expensive rent is in New York. Number 3. Florida the theme park capital of the world and its beaches don't seem to do much justice for its people since they have a population of 28,000 homeless people. I mean, it's easy to think that when a state or a country gets richer, the more resources you have to combat poverty and problems such as homelessness. Well, economics is not as easy as you think. Similar to the other states, the state also lacks affordable housing and social safety net programs. Housing experts are now concerned because the figures could spike in 2023 after hurricanes hit the state. The low incomes and high prices make it impossible to afford a home here. Did you know that the median home price here increased by more than 60%? Yeah, before it used to be just around $251,000. Now, it's more than $406,000. Number 4. Texas Texas is huge. They have oil and gas industries. And the cowboy and rodeo culture is also huge. But do you know what else is huge? Yeah, the homeless problem. Did you know that there are 24,000 homeless people here? Again, it's the lack of affordable housing that makes it difficult to own a house. Especially in Austin, Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston, and San Antonio. Well, we can look at the bright side of things though. Just to put it into perspective, it was way worse in 2007 because that figure used to be 40,000. But it has been consistently dropping. There have been several initiatives to address this issue including the creation of adorable housing and expanding the homeless outreach services. Number 5. Washington Welcome to the Evergreen State, located in the upper left corner of the continental United States. Did you know that you can find the White House here? 
<laughs> Just kidding. Everyone knows that, right? But do you want to hear something that you don't know? Washington has over 22,000 homeless people, and the majority of them live in Seattle metropolitan area. Homelessness rates here have decreased for minors and young adults ages 18 to 24. But beyond that, the figures don't look too good. I'm pretty sure by now, you guys understand that it's mainly the rising rental and housing costs that drive people to the streets. The state did implement several programs to address this though, like affordable housing and homeless prevention programs. Number 6. Oregon In case you didn't know, Oregon is famous for its diverse landscapes and many outdoor recreational opportunities like scenic bikeways, lush forests, and majestic lakes. It may not be talked about that much, but Oregon has over 18,000 homeless people. The majority of them live in Portland's metropolitan area. The mayor of Portland plans to ban camping on city streets and move the unhoused people to campsites. It's really concerning, guys. CNN reports that plenty of people in Oregon experience homelessness due to economic hardship, shortage of safe and affordable housing, and the inability to obtain long-term employment. It's really hard to land a job, guys, and since they have less and less social safety net systems, then it's really driving people to the streets. Number 7. Massachusetts Welcome to the place that is known for its pilgrims, Mayflower, the Boston Tea Party, and the Salem Witch Trials. The only thing I like about that list is a tea party. I like drinking tea, but I don't think they're the same kind of tea. Anyway, there are around 16,000 homeless people here, and most of them are urban poor. You'll find them in places like Boston. In terms of affordable housing, did you know that the state of Massachusetts ranks as the third least affordable area in the out of 20 reach 2020 report when looking at the 50 states? They also have figures that include an estimate of 727,546 people living in households that fell below the poverty threshold. At least the Massachusetts Coalition for the Homeless exist. They have programs that assist those who are experiencing or at risk of homelessness. You can check out their website if you have the heart to donate to the cause. Number 8. Colorado Colorado has a diverse geography, encompassing 104,094 square miles of the American West, and includes swathes of the Great Plains, Southern Rocky Mountains, and the Colorado Plateau. Yeah, the nature here is amazing. You know what sometimes? I just think, why can't humans pick a cave or a tree to live in? In this world, you need a lot just to have a roof over your head, especially in the city of Denver where the focal point of Colorado's homelessness is located. According to a report by the Common Sense Institute, over the last five years, Denver's population of people experiencing homelessness has risen by almost 44%. The good news, though, is that the budget for housing programs will increase to 38.7%, totaling $1.45 billion. At least there's a step forward in the right direction. Number 9. Arizona. Yeah, I know this one. A friend of mine moved to Arizona a couple of years back, and when I asked her about the homeless situation there, she said she hasn't really felt it that much. Probably because she's lucky enough to be like one of those rich, rich people. I don't know. But anyway, Arizona saw one of the worst homelessness crises in the nation. 23% to be exact, from 2020 to 2022. Even if the state has already made major investments to address the crisis, including converting seven hotels and motels to emergency shelters, and even funneling resources to rural communities. I mean, if you ask me, that's already a lot, right? But yeah, a lot still needs to be done for the 12,000 homeless people in Arizona. Another huge reason for this is that 375,000 Arizonans only have an annual income of $25,000 or less, and that means they can only pay $625 per month for like rent and utilities. But there are no apartments with that price, 
anywhere in Arizona. Number 10. Nevada. The Silver State, home to all the fancy casinos, is also home to 13,000 people experiencing homelessness this year. Yeah, good thing though. The state also has the Nevada Homeless Alliance. They say that the leading cited barriers to obtaining housing are a lack of income and an inability to afford rent. Their mission is to advance collaborative strategies to end homelessness in Southern Nevada through advocacy, public awareness, education, and coordination of services. It's good to know that there are kind-hearted people out there that really care, right? Now that you know that there are 10 states in the US grappling with the homeless situation, what do you think we should do to solve it? Well, it's easy. Housing, right? Make it affordable through government funding, tax incentives, and partnerships with private developers. There's an organization called the National Alliance to End Homelessness. They also say that the solution to end homelessness anywhere is housing. But if you took any economics and politics course, you'd understand that the answer ain't that simple. Good thing they proposed a more extensive solution. One that made sense to me was they proposed to create systems that work. What does that mean? In its simplest form, it means that the approach must be scientific, strategic, and data-driven. The shared data system, called the Homeless Management Information System, is a local information technology system used to collect client, program, and system-level data on the proving of housing and services to homeless individuals and families. Yeah, that's a lot of jibber-jabber, but basically, the government needs to know that the resources it has and carefully allocate them to the collected data. Like, you don't just build housing programs in the middle of nowhere and expect people to move there without any job opportunities, right? Stuff like that needs to be considered. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you all learned something and used this opportunity to expand your world IQ. If you found this interesting, let us know in the comments what you think. If you like videos like this, check out our other video. This time, it's the complete opposite of homelessness. Well, I wouldn't say the opposite. It's that video about which states people are moving to in 2023.